Hello everyone and welcome back to Xenonauts 2 here for another destroyer destroyed mission. Uh, we destroyed a destroyer and now we need to capture what's inside. So in the last episode, at the end of the episode, we had already uh, equipped our crew here coming from the core one. So uh, a relatively stacked crew. The only issue is uh, we do have a private, a private grenadier. However, we do have Major Dana Kafuri who... I'm seriously impressed. Like, the only thing she does not have is a Crux Solaris for eliminating four or more hostiles in a single tactical mission, but she is absolutely phenomenal. 85 accuracy. What a crack shot. But other than that, uh, we do need to make sure that we continue to work or uh, work on our builds to make sure everyone is getting everything that they need. So in this case, uh, we're bringing in a shield, two assaults, three riflemen, a heavy grenadier, and a sniper. There's not going to be any Mars, as unfortunately we, uh, well, we let we let Mars, what was that Mars five die? He died in one turn. He took a thirty damage, and I was like, okay, you know what? He could take like one shot. Nope, seventy damage. Next shot, just absolutely gone. So, is what it is. Uh, in the meantime, though, we did get some upgrades. We got upgraded, uh, upgraded radars now, so we can see the UFO type mission and crew. Uh, which is kind of cool. So we can see, for example, if you look here, we see it's a destroyer with a fighter, a crew of sectons, and its mission is ground attack. So there's a lot of stuff that we can kind of see, which is really, really cool. Uh, other than that, though, we did lose one of our ships. Angel 1, excuse me, uh, went down, unfortunately. But we are able to get away with Angel 2. And now that we have the ability to... Well, we're, we're currently researching the new interceptors. Once we're done with that, we'd like to build one and we can potentially do some really cool stuff there. Now, in the meantime, let's go ahead and launch this. We are in a good spot with everyone as far as I know. There is a research available to launch some armor or some launch some armor. So uh, get some additional armor. I have not ever unlocked that. So we'll see what it kind of looks like here in the future. But other than that, uh, I've realized that you guys are not getting any sound, so let's fix that before we start the mission here. There we go. All right, we'll just pretend we edited that out. It's it's going to be quiet, but uh, you know I'm I'm quite loud to begin with. So, in any case, let's go ahead and start there and begin the mission. Now this is a farm, so we see an addition, an initial, excuse me, sectan, which is always good. Can we take an aimed shot here? I think we can. Perfect. Ow. 34 damage. Alright. I suppose what we could do... Uh, well, first and foremost, let's go ahead and, and move out here. We want to make sure that everything is good. It is not, actually. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and pop this flashbang grenade. We want to make sure that this guy is as minimally invasive as possible. See another scion over there. This is going to be kind of intense. Here. Nigel took some good damage early on. I say good. Not good. Painful damage. But I think what we can do is we can move you over here. And if we take shots from there, 71% chance. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and move you over here. Move you up. 62% chance or 100% chance? I think the solution here is 100% chance. 101 damage. Ooh, man. That's killer. We can get an aim shot over here. Or alternatively, yep. 91% chance. I think we're going to do that. Okay, so this guy does not have a good chance to uh, avoid fire from us, which is excellent. We also are relatively good at uh, locking them down. So 33% chance. Let's go ahead and give Chloe the option here. That way we can push our uh, rifleman over towards this scion over here. Does look like these guys were not prepared for uh, an engagement, so the armor is relatively limited, which is great for us. Very, very nice. Take an aim shot. 85% chance I will certainly take advantage of. And that's a single shot kill. All right, we're starting to do to them what they have done to us now, uh, which is super nice. You, of course, are bleeding just a little bit. It's not great. Do we have any more riflemen? We don't have any more riflemen that are available to us. Let's 
get you a little bit out. I'm curious. Ah, there's the enemy. Okay, so let's get you behind cover then. Uh, so, highly likely that these guys are going to be moving in through the, uh, through the sides here. I would be remiss if I don't think that there's a guy, at least one, over there. Uh, and then probably some guys in here, but I think obviously the, the primary source of engagement is going to be at that ship there. We've done this once before, we can do it again. I am I am certainly ready to uh, start these engagements. Bring our assaults up. I think we'll move one assault to each side. Ah, shoot, before we do that, let's move here and around. And we'll crouch you down, and then you will face towards, face towards enemy, just like the Claymore says. Alright, and there we go. I think we're in a good spot. Let's go ahead and do that. You are bleeding, of course. We'll get you healed up from, uh, from a guy here. Friendly's going down, unfortunately, it sounds like. I don't know where. I'm assuming up to the north here, but it could also be in this barn area. Uh, did read that Milestone 4 is coming along nicely with this game, which is super nice. Um, saw that they plan on having, I want to say, three maps for each biome on, I don't know if that's three maps for each biome as it relates to specific missions or as it relates to, you know, what. So, very interesting. So we see a Sekton. Oh, there's a guy right there. Okay. Hi. I love these laser weapons. <laughs> oh, these are amazing. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get in here. See, we could potentially... Did we get a shotgun? Shotgun shot? 42% chance. Astrid, I think you could pull this off. Almost. Almost. Alright, so let's go in here and see if there's anything in the field. No, there is not. Let's go this way. Oh, there's a guy right there, isn't there? Of course there is. Alright, well... He's not there anymore. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. But I, I suppose, relatively speaking, could be absolutely worse. If we take a shot there. No, we can't do that. So let's go ahead and heal you up. That armor really paying dividends here. You are 66 HP, so I mean you're you're doing fairly well here. Get you moving. We will have a rifleman that we can move. Do normal shot, 64%. What's our what's our chance with an aim shot? It's probably this is probably actually gonna be the best option. 66%. Excellent, and you go down. Phenomenal. My hope is that by limiting the amount of flexibility that the aliens have early on by just rushing them down, that we can make some really good plays and go from there. Actually, we'll move you, Danica, over there. Does anyone else, when I say Danica, think of Danica Patrick? I don't know why. I, I like race cars, and sometimes... Sometimes things... Ah, crap. Of course there is. Armored guy. Okay. Chloe, let's, uh, let's move you up as well. There's that guy there, which means he's going to come through. Probably pop a shot at uh, Theodore. Theodore should be able to at least tank this one shot coming up here. I, I don't know for sure. Interesting. There's another one. All right, that guy's apparently able to shoot even after moving that far. I thought they had. Oh, maybe it's the it's the ridiculous time units that they have. That's what I'm forgetting about. All right. Well, you've gone berserk. That's a really. You shoot, you shoot this guy instead of the guy right. All right, well. <laughs> silly, silly. All right, let's take a shot at this guy. And then we can take snapshots or we could take a burst fire shot. I think that burst fire is actually going to be worthwhile. You missed every shot. Holy cow. Oh, okay. Um, we got a problem here, gentlemen. 
Okay, this guy's down at least. Normal shot. Uh, let's... And you shoot from there. 62% chance. We gotta take that shot. You missed it. We can take a 73. Alright, that's... Golly, that's terrible. That was... That was very frustrating. Uh, <laughs> that was very frustrating. Uh, Alright. I wish they I wish they showed you what the chances were that something would happen. But all right. Well, lesson learned. I think we need to start pushing with some of these uh some of these shields more than anything else and we can go from there. But Theodore, you are uh in need of a reload here. Go ahead and push you up. Everyone else, we will continue to do your thing. You actually need to reload as well. Grenadier, let's see, can we move you over here? Yes, we can. And it seems like, seems like, question mark, that the rest of the enemies are going to be located in ship. Whether or not that's a true statement is uh, yet to be determined, but we're, we're looking that way. Let's get you over here, Crouch. And Danica's good. You good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. So, seems to be right on the inside. I'm curious what they're going to do there, but that's okay. Okay, Nigel. Probably not going to do anything here. Just pop that. Assuming you can see inside. Yes, you can. Alright, so... Not too much damage. I'm assuming a lot of that went towards armor, which is fine. I'm okay with that. 84% chance from there. Astrid, yep. Excellent, well done, Astrid. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up our other assault here. Theodore is running around 40 HP, so very, very low, but uh, still... Considering the fact that they are, well, relatively speaking, as good as our private, that's that's really not a bad thing. So, certainly something to consider. Theodore will move around. We'll move the shield up. Victor will come around on the back side of the ship. Grigory, keep up. And then Danica, I think we're, we're going to reload on you and then just move forward right now. I'm actually going to put you in the back here. Astrid's going to be the one taking damage here, which is a little concerning if someone pops out the door, which they will. Oh, whew. Oh, no. Love how you shoot through your enemy. So we were crouching and everything. Dang it. Wish I had that luck. All right, now, on the plus side, we can then... If you toss this, chuck a nice grenade there. That'll hurt both of you. Let's move you here. We'll take the flash grenade. Okay, let's move over here, because I don't trust you at all. Because they had luck, they had good luck, we do not. Um, that's just the reality of, of situations more often than not. Okay. Let's take a good hit. Excellent. Grigory, can we get you down there? And then we can take a 50% shot. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, one's down. Now the next one's... Alright, aim shot. 91%. And you're down too. Get you out of the way. Get you out of the way. You crouch. Uh, you have no options here, which is fine. We're good with that. Uh, and then I'm really hoping that Astrid doesn't die. I really liked Astrid. Uh, I th I'm fairly certain, actually, that Astrid was terrible, but I still liked her. Other than that... Let's see. Let's go ahead and leave Danica here. 
crouch down. He'll have the pistol available. Oh! Alright, that's frustrating. That's a thing. Uh, who died? Astrid and Theodore. Oh man, that's so frustrating. I'll tell you what. That is frustrating. Hi there! You just made me a very unhappy camper. So, you're not gonna have a good day. Alright, so how do we want to do this? Well, I'm thinking that we probably... We only have one shot left available to us. Uh, and we don't want to be too aggressive here, I suppose. So let's take this. You missed most of your shots. It's fine. Uh, that's, that's kind of annoying. Right, point blank. Point blank. You do nothing. Oh man, that's we're getting we're getting fun luck. What I would consider the the most joyful of luck, where every random shot seems to miss, but every shot of theirs seems to hit. Ah, uh, darn it. Sorry, I'm getting a little salty that both of my my prized assaults went down. No fault of no fault of them. Uh, it's mostly just me not understanding that there's always one in the one corner that you didn't check. So. Uh, but that, that is kind of the way of things. So let's go ahead and toss a smoke grenade over there. And... I suppose we can stack up here. Stack. You can't crouch, you can't crouch. Okay, fine. Fine, there should be at least one more, probably in this side. I'm guessing but could be wrong here. I don't, actually, it also may be in there. Aha, no, we found him. Interesting, can't, uh, can't do that. All right, so we are in a good spot here then. What say we? Throw a frag grenade. That'll do some damage. And we could even... Pop a flashbang. And try and capture him. What do you say? Thinking that might not be a bad idea. Oh. It wasn't a bad idea. Everything else just, you know, conspired against me. Alright, everybody get out. Get, 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 go. Run away. Alright, so you do have the ability to shoot at least. 27% chance. That's... Yeah, well, I, I knew that wasn't going to hit, but was worth a shot. If we go here, what's your chance to shoot? 37? Yeah, I'm thinking we just actually move you through. And then who's our last one? Nigel. Nigel, what's your chance here? That's a negative. But we can take a no shot. Alright, well, um, honestly, I think we're just going to leave this cluster as it is, and the insides of the destroyer are going to be, uh... Well... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Insufficient ammo. Alright. Please destroy him. Thank you. Oh man, please tell me at least one of these two lived. I would love that so much. We have a 35% chance to hit or to uh, survive, and considering we missed every shot that we took, I would really, really count it as a personal thank you to the game. If we had at least saved one of them. At least. Please, please, please. Some of these guys were really good, and I really don't want to lose them. Both of them killed in action. Alrighty. That's unfortunate, but we did get... Uh, nope. Not what I wanted. 
we did get some good loot here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our reserves. So right now we're at one alenium and 104 alloys. We have $80,000 worth of junk, which is interesting. And now we have 36 alenium and 149 alien alloys. So we have a ton, a ton of alloys, which is really great. Like, don't get me wrong. That is phenomenal. Um, it's just a little bit sketchy that we don't have as much alenium. So um, what could we use that laser cannon alloy vehicle armor? You know, actually, we could do that for sure. Salt shield upgrade is probably a good thing. Alenium grenades. Interesting. Damage 50 kinetic. Three armor destruction. Nice. Okay. Uh, oh, we may have stun, stun locked ourselves. Nope, we didn't. We're okay. All right. So we're going to use that. We do have quite a bit of alloys. And now that I'm looking at this, let's go ahead and fill out some additional warden armor here. Have the Alenium missiles and the Aleniums, auto, so on and so forth. That's probably not really worth spending on right now. Uh, however, getting another laser lance would be great. And then, oh, we can do alloy plating for our interceptors as well. All right, there we go. So, spent all of our money on research and development. Let's go ahead and sell this. Uh, what else do we want here? We're down to 39 alien alloys, unfortunately. And what else can we do in terms of base upgrades? Because we do want to take a look at that as well. That might be worth looking into. Let's go with that. See what we have. Oh, it's the Alenium that we're looking for. So we could do we could upgrade the surgical center. Maybe that would be worthwhile. Maybe that would be worthwhile. You know what? Here, let's cancel that. Let's do the surgical center and let's let's put that up to the top here. So we're we're prioritizing survival of our troops because it does appear that uh, you know some of these things are, are very, very important. But obviously, we're not going to be able to fight right now. This guy is uh, under reconstruction. We could rush replacement here, and I think that might actually be valuable if and only if we had uh, that laser lance up and running. But I don't think we do right now, so let's go ahead and continue. We have additional living quarters in the core too, which is great. Did we... Uh, we finish everything? Yeah, no workers just yet. These guys should be working here. In transit, yes, five of them in total. Okay. All good by me. Observer and a probe. If I had two, I would I would take advantage of that, but I simply don't. Destroyer and a fighter, crew of sectons, observer. Oh, yeah. Oh man, there's so many of them. I, I should definitely, in, in future campaigns, I think there's definitely a way around, um, let's say, being more particular about the, the stuff that you do, and then also the fact that there's quite a bit of work that can be done on understanding some of the, some of the behind the scenes stuff in terms of like, you know, how fast is a, is a plane going, and then recognizing that you should or should not even sortie in defense, so. Something to consider here. Uh, one thing I do want to do, though, is I want to make an accelerated machine gun because we're currently, I don't think we have any currently. So let's work on that here. How are our troops doing? Not what I wanted. How are we looking for? Yes, recruits here. Anyone with great time units who could be otherwise useful? Fairly decent. The only thing you don't have, actually, you know what? You're going to be good as will you. We'll go ahead and recruit you. We'll go ahead and recruit you actually over to... Where'd you go? Wait, is this a different pool? Oh no, we just... Dum dum. There we go. Is you right? Yeah. Perfect. We'll go ahead and recruit you over to the core too. That'll help just a little bit here. Let's go ahead and make things go a little bit faster. Running a bit low on funds, of course. Um, we'll need to... Possibly sell some stuff here, but all right. Now, in the meantime, let's take a look. Excellent. Uh, Angel Interceptor is done. We have the Phantom Interceptor, and we are going to start working on the Guardian Battle Armor, I believe. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and work on the, yeah, Guardian Battle Armor. Sorry. 
Getting a little distracted with myself here. Now the real question is, can you upgrade? This costs 25 Alenium and 800 thousand dollars. So that's something that uh, something that we got to work on here. Now, of course, we can sell. We can sell these aircraft uh, for. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do it, <laughs> but I'm gonna assume somewhere between maybe two and three hundred thousand, half or less, slightly. So, something to consider here. We have a laser lance. This guy's gonna be done in twenty hours. And at this point, we are just about ready to actually start doing some stuff. However, we do see that there's an alien base available. So the aliens have constructed an outpost on our planet. Although we don't know the exact purpose of this installation, we should attempt to destroy it as soon as possible. Now, I believe this is because the terror meter is very, very large on the Latin American. I think that's what it stands for, or South America, depending on uh, what you're looking at here. But let's go ahead and set up our equipment here. So first off, the assault shield. 160 now, as opposed to 80, which is great. So that's a tremendous improvement here. And I am curious what, in fact, we are going to be able to pull out of this mission once we get uh, once we get kills. So I am going to be bringing in some of our best troops here. And we are going to be playing, uh, playing it a little bit dangerous here. I'll we'll bring in the assault. Bring in you with at least three. We're going to be bringing in a couple of these and a couple more even. Might be worth bringing this and then you are definitely getting warden armor. Other than that though, I think might be worth bringing another frag grenade. We'll call that good. All right, and then Alexia Moreau, you will also be pulling in uh, as a an assault here. Let's equip you as best we can. You do have a fair bit uh, still available to you. You're not the greatest, right, Corporal? Obviously, but I am. I am confident in what you can accomplish here. We're working at eight shots here. One reload is going to be just fine. Uh, those those self-reloading magazines for the laser stuff would be particularly valuable, I think, in this case. But for right now, we're not working with that. All right, we're going to keep our riflemen as they were. Doing very, very well. Shields coming with warden armor. The laser pistol is going to be okay. Uh, we may actually... Hmm. I'm going to trade our laser pistol just because we may need the ability to not you know reload and realistically this is going to be far better Danica do you need heavy armor yes probably um I'll take the time unit penalty I think that's okay all right and then lastly uh, sergeant Nigel Congratulations, going from private to sergeant. Very, very nice job. I'm thinking maybe we actually bring a second... Do we bring a second shield in? We may we may actually want to consider that here. Bring you in, and then rather than giving that you, maybe we do end up giving you that to our second shield here. I am a little bit concerned about what's going on in terms of just where... You know, where we're attacking and so on and so forth. Oh, you have crappy strength. Uh maybe we maybe we don't do that. Who has good strength? Captain Agnes, Lieutenant Edward Morgan. Alright, Edward Morgan. We are a little bit low on warden armor, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, either way. Lieutenant Max, you're going to be giving up your heavy armor to Lieutenant Warden, or Lieutenant Edward Morgan, Warden, whatever. <laughs> oh, the things that are so close. Uh, and then I think we are in a good spot here. So, two shields, two assaults, three riflemen, a heavy, and a sniper. We probably don't need the sniper, to be honest with you. So maybe we'll trade out for another rifleman. 
And I'm actually thinking that uh, it might be worth bringing in just two of the lasers, because right now, the, the limitations present for these guys is pretty significant. So... Drop a smoke. We'll, we'll put two magazines on you. You're going to bring in heavy armor. Flashbangs. I think we're good on that. Everyone else is pretty much okay. Let's bring a smoke on you. And you're in a good spot. Now, the only issue with you, Chloe, is that you have no heavy armor. Which means you're going to take a dive here. Things go poorly, but things aren't going to go poorly. You know what I mean? And there we go. There we go. All right. Perfect. We have stuff uh, as expected, I think, and we are in a good spot. Let's go ahead and put you with one more grenade. That'll put you right at the top and let's launch the dropship. It's going to be a little bit of a longer episode uh, in apology for what we had last time. Let's go ahead and commence the tactical battle. I'm really hoping that we have a good, a good set of engagements here, good rolls on our, uh, <laughs> on our shots, and we are going to be playing super, super safe. No, uh, if there is a Xenonaut soldier and no aliens in the base command room, the location of all remaining aliens on the map will be revealed. Okay, so something to consider. Uh, speaking of, uh, in the command room, they hired for Milestone 4, I believe. They hired a new artist, so someone that's going to be turning some of these uh, interesting maps even more interesting. So I'm, I'm really fascinated to see how that works. All right, so it does look like we have something on three sides here. So let's go ahead and move this. It does look like, interestingly, that these are... here it's gonna be interesting go ahead and get you to crouch here I don't quite know what these guys are gonna throw at us and it's a little concerning but uh, I feel like we probably just wait for this first turn, and then on the next turn, we're going to pick a direction and go with it. So let's see if anyone rushes in. That's a no. That's a negative. Alright, so at some point, we are going to be uh, moving here, and I think we're just going to be moving to the right our right, whatever that happens to be. Let's go ahead and get you down there. Alexia, we'll move you and Crouch. So we're leading with our assaults. Get everybody in position here. I know our shields aren't going to be doing much here for this first room, but I feel like once we spread out, we'll be able to do a little bit more. Little bit of a firing squad here. There we go. Ah, it's one of those guys. All right, so they are interesting because they are immune, not immune, they are vulnerable to EMP damage. So something that we want to consider here. Lost a flash grenade. Lock this guy down. Oh, come on. Dang it. Not great. Victor took some damage here. I feel like, realistically, if we... smoke some stuff off, we might be able to get a good shot on... sect on here. We do not, in fact, get a great shot on this sect on. We are able to kill it. Or hit it, but uh, nothing phenomenal. Almost hit his own boy. 
Okay. Not great. We're not great here. And why does everyone have half? Maybe I'm... Am I missing something? Did we... Are we struggling for some reason? Okay, so let's... Let's consider... Smoke that off. Okay, pistol. Take a shot, please. 58%. I believe in you. Excellent. And you took him down. Alright, I'm happy with that. I'm really hoping we don't run with, uh... Reduce everything for the rest of this mission. That would really stink. Okay, we're gonna see what these guys end up doing. If they take shots through the smoke, I wouldn't be too disappointed. Um, does not look like they did that. That was a suppression shot? That's kind of crazy. Alright, well, unfortunately, you're dead. Ooh, double miss. Okay. Alright. Got a scion over here. It's the side of the door. Gregory has panicked. So let's see. Are our guys running with half? Only only the one. Um, but that's because you were you were suppressed. So totally understandable on that one. We're gonna have to take these guys down in one turn. If at all possible. I'm thinking that we... Demo charge is 25 thermal, minus 12 on the armor. These guys have massive frontal armor, uh, which is unfortunate. But given our current limitations, that might just have to be what we deal with. Let's go ahead and push through on this. Okay, Scion is down. Don't have any stun. However, if we move you up and toss a demo charge, take an aim shot there. Missed it. All right, sounds good. So here's here's what I'm thinking, right? So we have you. If we move you here, and then we move you here, toss a flashbang. I'm really, I'm really lacking the understanding of how you're making that happen, but okay. Uh, all right, let's let's see if we can do it this way. Yeah, perfect. So we'll get these guys. So these guys will now look the wrong direction, and we'll get a 10-round shot off. Good shots, although we somehow managed to suppress all of our own troops, which is not great. Um... And then we can... How do we do this? How do we do this? And I gotta demo these guys. I just demo them to death. They don't have the most insane armor, which is nice. Nothing doing there. Okay, well, we're gonna take... Big hits from this. Although, hopefully, they shoot, uh... Oh. Ouch. Alright, you're just gonna shoot our shield? No. 
Well, that could have been worse, actually. Probably going to get flanked here pretty quick. All right. Edward Morgan is fleeing. Of course you are. Unfortunate. Um, that is a bad idea. Edward Morgan. All right. Sounds good. So... Move you here. And then you take a burst fire. Take a snapshot. And these guys explode. Of course they do. Alrighty. Okay, so that means you need to get out of here. Perfect. Alright, so we've lost two people. No, one person. We have lost Major Victor Romanov, and Edward Morgan is fleeing. However, all is not lost. All is not lost. Let's go ahead and make sure everyone's up to snuff here. Who's currently injured? We got one, two, everyone's injured. That's it's more in impressive, actually, that you uh, <laughs> didn't die immediately. Get you over here. We'll use that again. I think these are unlimited use. Yeah, it's just time-based, which is all good. All right, go ahead and fix you up with as much as we can. Ah, crap. That is in the smoke. I, I misunderstood that. All righty. Let's go, let's go, let's go. else is in a pretty good spot uh you can't move at all and we're good so someone's gonna come through here guaranteed oh no no Whew, you survived oh that's amazing all right so that does mean potentially that we can get you back to your shield i would love that perfect means uh excuse me are you unable to pick up a shield once you've dropped it or is he just missing time units I'm not sure that's quite odd Container ground. Um, I, I, I'm very confused. This is not. Uh, this is not pleasing me very much. Um, I don't like that at all. The fact that we just can't pick up our shield anymore. He just dropped it on the floor, right? Like it wasn't anything spectacular. Okay, Chloe, let's move you through. Move you guys through. Crouch and actually, you know what? Probably not best to put you right there. In fact, let's get you to move up, and then you we will move over. Although realistically, there's going to be some guy that comes in here and just destroys us. Be quite unfortunate. You're not going to be able to do anything right now anyway, which is fine. Alright, yep, that is that. Go ahead and let these guys do their thing. So he will be coming through here at some point. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. Oh, that's very frustrating. All right, devs, there's, there's something I need you to work on. I need you to be able to pick up a shield once you drop it. Because that's kind of insane that you can't. Like it's just it's just sitting on the ground, you know. Right. Does not look like there's anyone in there. I'm imagining that is not the command center, though. Which is good. 
which is good. I can't complain about that. So, there's another door there, though. Something to consider. Go ahead and open you up. A power supply area. Also, no one there. Which, again, is a good thing. Very pleased with that. Um, suppose that the next thing that we want to do is, well, let's make sure there's no one here. Nope, in fact, there is not. So next turn, we'll look through this facility. I'm assuming that if the guys are coming from that location... Oh, that's a... Okay, so that's a medical facility. Yeah, I know you have not moved. That's fine. Yeah, these guys are fine. They're just going to hang. In case there's guys that come over here, over there. Excellent job. Well done. All right, and that is what we wanted that for. All right, so at this point... Ah, uh, there's another one. Ooh, I do not like that at all. <sighs> Alexia. What's your stun baton? 16. So that'll allow you to do... Realistically, run. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen, but um, that's okay. That's okay. We can fix you. We can fix you. All right, and we'll let the shield tank up some shots here. Where is our other assault? Other assault is down here. Let's get you up and into position to potentially do some damage to this guy. Lieutenant Edward Morgan, I do not respect you because you cannot pick up your shield, but we are still going to figure out how to make this work. All right. Next up, let's keep it moving. Uh, shoot, you actually are out of ammunition, aren't you? Okay. Not great. Not great. But, let's see what these guys are going to do, and then we can go from there. We have currently no one covering any of our backside, which is not great. Ooh, crocodile. Crocodile! That was an 80 damage shot. That was 80 damage. Alexia. You didn't have anything happen. Aren't you our... Wait, what? Oh, you cannot be serious. Okay, the shotgun is there. The shotgun is there. All right. Whew, we are okay. Uh, very frustrating that Alexia was... not being very uh, responsive here. But... It is what it is. If we do an advanced pistol, um, here, let's move. Aim shot, 100% chance. Take him down. All right, there we go. Excellent job. All right, we're just playing slow and methodical. Slow and methodical. You up. Who is injured but still hasn't? Man, quite frustrating that you uh, you can get them panicked even if they're not taking any damage. Okay. Takes a shot. Uh, we suppressed our own boy. Not great. Alright, so I think we are going to push in with the shield here. Okay, let's go ahead and stun baton.
interesting. So it doesn't do that much, actually, relatively speaking. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, if we do that, then you die, don't you? It's not great. 85 out of 160. That was a huge hit. 75 damage, my goodness. So here's my thought process, right? Max, you... You can't even... Jeez. Can't even move. Uh, okay. Sounds good. We have, we have other fish to fry here. Other things to do. We're gonna have to deal with this one way or another, and as much as I don't like it, Max is probably gonna have to be a casualty here. So... We move you here. We do a 64% chance. We move you here. Get an 86% chance. So. You do that. Let's move you here. That'll get you out of the line of fire. Take a laser shot. Take a normal shot. Excellent. All right. And unfortunately, Captain Max Wagner was turned into a literal paste. All right. Well, um, this this assault has been casualty rich, let's say. So let's go ahead and pick up our shotgun here. Edward Morgan is going to be picking up the um, the remains of our former captain. I think we'll move you over here. What? That is such an interesting way to go about that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's keep it moving, though. We know there's not going to be anyone coming in from here, though. So as much as I dislike it, that's probably not the worst thing that we could do. Um, yeah. And we'll leave you as is. Hopefully there's not uh, guys coming in from the back here. Forgot to turn you the correct direction. Looks like, in fact, we are good to go. Oh, there's no, it destroyed our laser. Oh no. Dang it. All right, all right. The laser is down. I am immensely saddened by this. I have learned so much. It's like a teleporter. Okay, so unfortunately, we are a little bit out of place. Uh, Victor Romanov was turned into a paste as well. It's not great. Oh, you know what? Here, let's uh, push you over there. You're actually in a good spot. Just keep you looking out the back side here. All right, we'll see if anyone comes in through the front. We do have enough for a snapshot. That'll be good. Yeah. Oh, come on. Shoot. Up. Uh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> come on. What is this? That snapshot was a 47% chance, and this guy had a, a normal shot for 72. Oh my goodness gracious. What is going on? I am so frustrated. And who did we lose? We lost, uh... Edward, our shield. I mean, in all fairness, I guess, whatever, but... You've gotta be kidding me! All right, Sekton over there. Looks like the teleporter pad is available. Don't know what for, but uh, it's there. Okay, you missed. Excellent. 
So you can get shot. Interesting, though. Oh, no. Make sure there's no one there. All right, everyone, pull up the rear. Actually, you know what? You reload. And then you move you up. Okay, hopefully no one's following in from the back side. If they are, oh, that's just going to suck now, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and end this turn. We got people covering on this side. Oh, another one. The miss. All right, got very lucky there, it appears. Especially because he was out of cover and standing, because it feels like uh, those are pretty much guaranteed to hit hits, uh, which is quite unfortunate. Can't do anything from there. Can't do a 25% burst fire, though. Tell you what, let's bring our shield in. So there is another one over there. Move. Hmm. Move you here. Move you here. Take a burst fire shot. 41%. Excellent. That guy's down. We like to see that. 67% chance missed on that. I can't complain too terribly much. We do this, though. 65% chance, and I do believe you can get that shot. Excellent. Very unlucky uh, that we didn't get anything else, but I am I'm happy with that. Okay, Piotr is going to watch the rear. These two are going to watch this room here. And I think we are in a good state. Yeah? Fairly certain. Yep, you guys have not acted intentionally, so it'd be available for us. So I'm feeling like the next course of action is going to be bringing everyone to this location. And then we will uh, load the teleporter pads. Get everyone going. Crouch, crouch, crouch. Everyone's good. All right, and everyone is, uh, well, we have everyone in one room at least. This will be interesting. All right, let's go. Oh, boy. All right. Flashbang. All right, suppression on all of them. Let's go. Perfect. You now move. Take aimed shots, 100% on that. A burst fire is going to be 42. If we can take that, we can make these work. I just don't know if we can or not. Throw grenades. It's not having a good day. Uh, now, let's move you over. You take a snapshot, 41%. Excellent. It's not great, but it does its job. Um, 19% or 24%. Realistically, neither one is great, but... Worth a shot. Nope, didn't even get one of them on there, so... Uh, let's move you. And 
and then we can take another grenade. Alright, last but not least. Can we work with here? I think that big issue is going to be these scions, because if they're within eight squares of each other, they get massively improved. Uh, they get massively improved, uh, not range, but uh, accuracy. Didn't work. Um, okay. Let's hope our next, you know, we'll see. We'll see. All right, we lost one. But that was it. Ava is a little bit low. You're berserk? Okay, I can take berserk. As, as far as that goes, that's not the, the worst thing ever. Okay, who did we lose? Chloe, our heavy. Unsurprising, to be truthful with you. Okay, so we move you here. Actually, if we move you here, snapshot, 58, normals, 75. I'm really disappointed in that roll. I am also disappointed in that. That is freaking phenomenal, dude. Oh, boy. All right, normal shot. What if we go here, take an aim shot? Doesn't particularly matter, I suppose, does it? These guys just being so darn resilient is incredibly frustrating. Um, take an aim shot there. All right, this guy is down. Thank goodness. We are going to flash you. Seventy-six percent chance to hit, and we get him down. Excellent. All right, so. Last one is just this guy. And he's unable to uh, fire due to time units. All right, sounds good. Well, we got one more. Uh, Scion Elite has gone berserk. He's going to kill all of our guys, isn't he? All right, we did lose one more. 84 damage. That was kind of, kind of insane. Kind of insane. Insufficient ammo. This will reload on you. And that'll be it. So we now have four more available to us. So interesting. So they're going to be in here. We only have four more troops left, which is very unfortunate. You got to come over here. Steal you up. Yoder is still at full health. Itsuki is still at full health. Um, who are we going to leave? Probably Ava. We got to leave Ava in the main area. Let's see what these guys do, though. Let's see what the enemy does, if they make any moves at all. That shows, doesn't show us what they're doing. Okay. Um. Interesting. Enemies spotted. So we do have one guy in there. Worth pushing back here, I think. This guy's going to be pushing. We're going to need to cut these guys down as quickly as possible, essentially. Is, is my understanding of what's going on here. So... And I, as I say as quickly as possible, but what I really mean is uh, on a one-by-one -one basis, because otherwise these guys are going to tank the crap out of us. So if we're looking at this, we have a laser rifle, an accelerated shotgun, and an accelerated rifle. And the rifle can be reloaded, which is excellent. Go ahead and you guys drop down to a crouching position. Ava, stay put. Want to keep an eye on these guys? I am very happy with uh, with what we were able to accomplish, though, unfortunately. It just came at the cost of all of our troops. All right, there we go.
All right. Let's go ahead. With 85. It's going to be dangerous, but I think this will work out. I think what we'll do here is we will block in this direction. We'll let these guys do their thing. So this guy's going to move forward. We're going to miss everything. We're going to miss everything. Everything. They're going to hit the only shot they take. Um, phenomenal. What phenomenal gameplay. <laughs> oh my gosh. This guy. How does he do it? How does he do it? All right. Well, um, worse things have happened. Let's go with that. The, the luck is not on our side today. So we have the one. We have the scion and the alligator. So I'm assuming this, uh, this sectan is going to be moving towards us. I assume. I'm going to leave that as is. Scion's actually coming in from behind, so that's a little bit of a concern. For right now, we should be okay, though. I do like the... I do like having someone in the, the main room here. Let's, let's just wait for that. Running a little bit over on time, obviously, so this is, a, this is an important mission. We'll see. I don't know what quite the... Uh, the value is on some of these. Does it just need to does it need to reset? Yeah. Oh, so there's four of them. Let's spawn more. Where is that Sekton? Sekton moved over there. So let's move everyone up. Shield is functionally broken at this point. Um such is the way. I'm not confident that we will be able to... Actually, you know what? Here's what we need to do. We need to check. Um, we got two guys that died in here. And there were a lot of grenades lost. So we probably need to go and drop these. So we're going to need those resources very, very keenly. Let's go ahead and see what they do. I'm assuming the Scion is going to be moving in closer to us. If not, that's all good and fine. Okay, crocodiles over there. Where's that Sekton? Sekton and the Scion are in close proximity. Medical facility over there, which we could potentially use for our benefit. You, Itsuki, are going to go and collect all of this. Perfect. Itsuki, go pick all that up. It's gonna take a may, might take a turn or two. Insufficient time unit. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So it's a, I think it's a ten to move a single thing, which is which is all good and fine. I'm I'm not opposed to that. Pick these up because of course the the flashbangs have been our saving grace. I feel like realistically, I didn't want to lose all those guys, but. We would have lost everyone if it weren't for them. So. All right. Sekton and the Scion are hanging out together. So that's unfortunate. Just pulled my earplugs out of my... Or my earbuds out of my ears, which is actually not the most comfortable thing in the world. I would like to probably work my way around the side here. As I'm thinking about this. That's... Oh. Uh. Excuse you. Perhaps I didn't mean to do that? Question mark. 
but I did it anyway, so there's that. Um, yeah, all right, we're good. We're good. Yep, Zatoni is, is not going to be taking part in this anymore. She's going to be uh, maintaining a position up at the command post. There we go. Sorry about that. We need to move you out. Yes, enemy spotted. So the Sekton and the Scion are spreading out, which is great. So Alexia, you are actually running very, very low on shotgun rounds here. So you may end up needing to take up a rifle in the near future. We'll see though. We will see. Let's get you, get you right in the center. Sekton is going to be the first one to go. Can we actually get you, uh, get your rifle here? That. And get you that. So that's minus 15 time units, but that's okay. We're just going to be dropping that off downstairs for our assault to pick up. Hi! I hope you don't have a good day. You guys took out a lot of our troops. I am not very pleased with you. 95. You have got to be kidding me. So Scion is the last one remaining. All right, very disappointing. All right, at, at some point, we're going to have to bring Ava down. We have to bring Ava. Unfortunate, but... but interesting that you can... You can do it if it's picked up, I suppose. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we do have that, and then insufficient time units to move that. But, Ava, you're going to have to move now. We've officially run out of time. So let's get you... Uh, let's see. Where is the Sekton... So the, the, the two civilians are in the same location. This Scion, though, is not. So I think what we'll do... Move here. Blast the Scion. He's suppressed. Take an aim shot. You're not actually able to do anything there. Put you down to 14. Get you down. Alrighty. This is our last, uh, last peek at the enemy before we do some fun stuff, of course. What's a normal shot looking like? 48%. All right, Ava, not worth it. Man, I'm so frustrated. We lost uh, Max. I think that was Max, right? No, that was Alexia. And Alexia ran away too. He was not a not a very happy camper. Okay, he's running. Let's see, so you are backed off. Eighty percent shot. You need to reload. Do that, that's 85% as well. Of course, realizing that these guys do have the capability to mesmerize you. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We got to take the shot. We got to take the shot. Oh, <laughs> for once the game treats me right. <gasps> what? 
We're burning a ton of resources here. All right, so as a reminder, the uh, the alligator and the, well, just, just the civilian officer and the civilian, the unarmored civilian were in there, which means we can probably move through this location. So let's go ahead and push back. We're going to get uh, some info on them. These guys are over here. So it looks like he is pushing towards the medical facility. Itsuki, you'll be able to hold him off there. Ava, down here. Oh, well, that was stupid of me, wasn't it? Ah, oh, that's okay. The civilian will be moving. Rockana over there. He really does seem like Rockana, doesn't he? Let's see, this guy is. Oh, they're both moving towards us. Okay. Not great. Not bad. Not great. Let's keep it moving, though. And then I think we are going to be bringing you up in the back lines too. Looks like pretty up there. And then we'll fight this guy. So he's heavy, heavy armor. Don't like that. But if we do massive burst fire on him, we might be able to take advantage of that. I'm thinking we might. Now I no longer know where these guys are, and I'm quite concerned. I'm moving. Although I do have a feeling it's going to be in this room, potentially. Okay, there's the civilian. We take a normal shot. We can make that work. However, not worth it. 66%. Love to hit these. Perfect. That's a good shot. That is a good shot. Alright, other civilian is there. Let's go ahead and drop his armor. It's going to be quick and deadly. All right. All right, so this guy is charging up. Take an aim shot at you. We could actually take a burst shot, and that's probably better. That didn't work. Gotta love it. That'll leave you with just enough for a normal shot. Okay. All right, and then this guy's gonna come in through here and see. What, we'll see what he does. Hopefully misses. I would love that. Love that very much. We did burn through some of his armor, which is great. Um, let's burn. Let's uh, suppress him. Fifty percent chance. We are out of grenades here. Actually, you know what? We may not be out of grenades. Uh, yes, we are. Shoot. Okay, that's fine. It's our burst fire. 45%. Take another aim shot. We missed. Oh, come on. We can't miss these. Okay. All right, he is suppressed. Pyotr. Please. Oh, no, you can't do this to me now. Oh, come on, Pyotr. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Itsuki, this is up to you. Seventy-two percent chance. And you're still alive. How is this guy still alive? Crazy. 
he missed? Oh. Okay, Piotr, please don't flee. Uh, I don't know what your actual capacity is to pick up stuff here. Probably not enough, though. Take a burst fire shot. 50% chance or 100% chance guaranteed. We only have two shots left. Oh, man. That was the most stressful mission I've ever had on this game. But we did it. It cost us almost our entire A-team, but we finished it. Now, what I don't remember is if our medical facility was on, uh, was upgraded before this mission happened. That may have been a smart thing to do. All right, killed in action, killed in action. We had one, two, three survivors. Grigory, Chloe, and Edward. Edward survived, yes. And then Piotr. Oh my gosh, Piotr. How did you survive and get all five? Award for Valor, Gallantry Citation, Crux Solaris, Crimson Heart, and a Golden Star. Goodness gracious. That's amazing. All right. Let us mourn the losses of Victor Romanov, Max Wagner, Ava Zatoni, and Alexia Moreau. The rest of them, three of them, in fact, survived, which we cannot complain about at all. We did recover four alien surgical tables, 37 alloys, 127 alenium, which is amazing. Some cyber drone corpses, nano fabrication. Interesting. Synthesize alien resources such as alloys and alenium here on Earth. Very cool. And we have, uh, we're, I mean, we are running out of uh, money, but I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and uh, view the stores. We are out of that. Let's go ahead and sell the junk. We're good to go. Alrighty, guys, that is going to be, oh, pause, pause, not uh, speed up. That is going to be it for today. Extra, extra long episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a big big uh fight here didn't really help uh with the terra meter unfortunately latin america is still at 86 out of 100 but we did get a tremendous boon to our uh, to our resources and you know to our research as well that's going to be all for today though hope you guys have a great one and we'll see you next time bye bye